So we did how to set up your bot on Discord, and we did how to update your bot on Discord. Now we're, I'm gonna teach you everything I know about command handlers. So command handlers are just basic commands. So for example, this example, uh, if you want to import an example, you can just click here and then click one of the examples. Uh, a quick tip, if you press examples, there is a ping pong command, which is, I'll, I already have this. So yeah, this is a ping pong command. I wouldn't. I wouldn't recommend doing this because if you haven't noticed, most bots what they do, they just make all of their commands command handlers even if they don't need arguments. So like if you will say anything after this, so like ping uh, whatever, like if you, for example if you do a typo, if you type ping g, like if you type g two times, then it would still do the same thing. I would really recommend doing that, even, like even if you don't need the arguments. Or if you don't want to do this each time, by the way, you can just do the command handler to import these, so you don't have to do uh, these every time, and then you can just edit the command and the blocks. So, and the arguments are, it sets the arguments to whatever the person says after the command. So this is the command, and the arguments is whatever is after the command. But if you don't want to do the actual command handler, you can also do, I'm just going to import one to make it faster. Instead of if message content equals ping, you can do starts with. So that's basically the same thing. If message content starts with exclamation mark ping. So like that makes it so it doesn't have arguments, but they can also say anything after the command if they want. But I usually just do it this way. But I'll just show you how to make a simple ping command with the command handler. So I'm gonna make my prefix this minus sign. So yeah, I'm just gonna use the minus sign on each one. And um, some people what they do, you, you can do uh, when the bot is connected or uh, yeah, when the bot is connected, uh, set variable to uh, the minus sign if you don't know what a variable is it like sets it to something so whatever you use that variable instead of saying the variable name it will set whatever the variable is set to so and then you, if you want you can do create text with then variable over here so like the I, I haven't created it but the variable over here and the command over here so like if you ever want to change the variable you can just change the variable in this one instead of doing it separately or in the future if you add something that the that the variable is different in every server that you can set it but i'm not going to get into those right now so my variable is going to be a minus sign and then ping so it replies um so i can just delete these blocks uh and then i'm going to use embeds too message embed is all the way at the bottom of messages so make, sh make sure you go into settings and uh, check all of these so you can add everything to the embeds and the message will be create text with so and you can add i'm gonna add more lines little more lines so the the first line is gonna be pong and then I'm gonna make it bold. If you don't know, uh, even in normal Discord, you can do these things around your message to make it bold, and one uh, one of those things around the message to be italics, and and there are others too. I'm not gonna get into those right now. So I'm just gonna make this bold, and then I'm gonna add a new line, and then it's gonna say bot ping and then a colon and then a online section um, okay. and then it says the actual bot ping in base so and then add one more text saying ms and then close the bold I'm actually gonna I actually have a better idea. Uh, I, I'm just gonna close the bold over here, and then there's gonna be a space, and I'll put 
this back tick and then put another back tick over here because the back tick uh, it makes it code fun so if you if you surround your message with back ticks then it will make it like look like a, in a box and if you do three back ticks and surround your message with three back ticks it's like a whole box and you can also add new lines if you do that if you do it with three back ticks then uh, I just did that but yeah you get you get it so it would say pong which is bold new line bot ping which is bold and then the bot ping so like for example 42 ms so and that's gonna be in the box font or the code font it's called uh you can do say which is the actual example that's already pre-made um well it's already made so but i don't really like what they did with this and uh, what what it, this is like uh you have written the following content after say and then it reply like if you have two replies then it will reply this this and then it will make another message saying this but what most people do is you can do create text width and then you can say one text over here and then a variable over here or whatever you want but you don't even need a variable over here like um i'll just put i'll just put in the create text width delete this and i'll just make it like a buy like below it there would be a buy and then message out there so this is the arguments if you want you can also just put the variable arguments but uh, it's already made like this so like um this is better I i'm pretty sure if you do it like just the arguments you can't put spaces so i'd recommend doing it make text from list arguments and i'm pretty sure that's in list uh yeah here it is you have to do text from list and then i'm gonna add so arguments it would say whatever they said after the say command and then it would be a, a bunch of new lines and like that and then text make it italics i'll actually make it italics and bold so italics and bold is three and then i'll put buy and then put another one and then put, one and two. Yep. And then put username of the message over and then over here we can close the italics and uh, bold. Uh, you can also add colors over here. Oh, this is the RGB. Uh, this is the blending, and then this is just the the colors. You can choose some colors over here, and there's also a random color if you want. Uh, I'm just gonna make this blue because that's kind of like the scratch for Discord uh, color, kind of my channel color. Speaking of my channel, uh, make sure to like the video if you enjoyed, and yeah, uh, that's not it though, so make sure you save this, uh, if, if you don't know how to update your bot, make sure you watch my last video, so it's gonna be like a YouTube command, so if you do YouTube, another thing that you can actually do with bots, and this is only on bot, so don't try this for yourself to see if it's true or not. So, and you can only do this in embeds too. So you can actually make hyperlinks. So like named links kind of. So it would be like in this format. Uh, the square brackets and then parentheses. So the square brackets would be the actual te text. So it would be uh, my YouTube channel. And then it would be the actual link in the parentheses, so it'd be like a hyperlink. And then I'll just change this text. So it's to my YouTube channel. Okay. And then the color can be red for that one for YouTube. And you can set the title too if you want. Um. And then the image, the image is actually a, an image link. So if you want to add an image, you can. 
um, a footer is like the lower portion of the embed. Thumbnail is like um, a small image, like a small version of an image, but it doesn't take up the whole embed. Pretty much it for the command handlers. Yeah, that's pretty. That's pretty much it. That's like basically. But the next episode, we're gonna be getting into more advanced commands, like maybe some polls, where like you can listen to the answer of like you can ask a question and then you can save the answer to whatever that person asks and then like random responses but uh before we end the video i'll just show you guys this code real quick i'll just enter my bot token in here make sure if you didn't watch my last video make sure to go watch that so it's because it shows how to uh save it they have to update your bot um and if the first video also shows how to make it 24 7 so like it doesn't stop whenever you close this but i'm not gonna do it right now because i don't really need this bot to run 24 7 because it's just a test bot but if i click run over here then it should yeah well uh yeah it's run like if it doesn't say anything that means it's run but if you do the keep alive things I said in the first video, then like to make it 24-7, then it should say something. I'll actually do that real quick so you guys can see. So if you just press run, and then yeah, let's say server is ready, and then this thing will pop up. So if you go into Discord, uh, make sure you guys wait a little after you turn the repo on. It actually, um, I don't know why, but it takes a while to start up and i've been waiting for like uh two minutes now and now it's started up so if i do ping then there it is it says pong bot ping 89 hertz i can do the same thing with say say hi and it's gonna be high by a million xm and i can do whatever i want gonna be it for today's video next video is gonna be moderation command so like kick ban clear um, and then in the future there's also going to be some swear filters so if you want to see that stay tuned for those in the future and i'll see you next time